on uh, your plans about uh, the VAT moss. Um, they're also one of, one of the ideas that has been put forward to immediately ease the situation for SMEs that are dealing in the digital sector, which we, would be uh, a threshold for uh, VAT for sales turnover. So I would like to know uh, wh whether this is a, a viable possibility and how high such a threshold could be, uh, wh whether it would be anywhere near uh, what members of my group in the European Parliament have uh, proposed, which would be a turnover rate of 100 thousand euros and also how quickly such uh, a threshold could actually be implemented thank you yeah my personal opinion is that uh, we have uh, had to, to repeat uh, this proposal which was made uh, during the years 2004 2008 already to set uh, uh, this uh, threshold uh, on a quite high level and my proposal is 100,000 uh, uh, euros so, uh, especially in the United Kingdom, uh, where uh, threshold is already on a quite high level, 81,000 uh, British pounds, uh, entrepreneurs are complaining because of um, high bureaucracy. And we have to listen to uh, those people. So, uh, proposal of the European Commission, as we all know, was uh, rejected by member states. Uh, I hope. Uh, this time, member states will take uh, this proposal uh, more seriously. According to um, our entrepreneurs, uh, fragmentation of EU market is one of the main obstacles uh, for uh, their businesses. And also, uh, our consumers, they are complaining about uh, 28 different regulations uh, protecting their interests, and, uh, and in many cases, uh, they are not able to buy uh, those goods because uh, service providers, uh, they are not ready to sell goods in the, in the countries. Uh, uh, there are some kind of regulations. Uh, they are not able to understand how they protect those consumers there and what kind of obligations uh, uh, those uh, entrepreneurs uh, uh, they, they, uh, they have according to, to those regulations. Talking about uh, digital content, we would like to provide uh, full, fully harmonized uh, uh, regulations because uh, this is an unregulated area in the European Union now. We don't have regulations on the level of uh, the European Union and uh, uh, practically we don't have those regulations on national level also. Talking about tangible goods, we are buying or are selling online. We would like to provide uh, some kind of model contract law. It's not an optional approach. It's not a 29th regime. It's not common European sales law, which didn't fly in the Parliament, as we all know. This will be also fully harmonized regulations. And we hope it will make easier for our companies to sell across borders.